The Gaza and Syrian borders have been making the most headlines in the Middle East for the past few years, but it is another border which worries the Israeli army even more, one that, ironically enough, has been Israel's most quiet front for over a decade. Since 2006 and the conflict known as the Second Lebanon War, pitting Israel's defense forces against Iranian black militia Hezbollah, the Israel-Lebanon border has been almost completely calm. Over the past 12 years, this is the scene along the 50-mile border. If you ask Lieutenant Colonel Amir Friedman, deputy commander of Brigade 300 patrolling the area, there's a good reason for that. It's quiet because of the force that we project. We know that the other side is constantly looking at us and testing us, and that is what deters them. It may be quiet now, but both sides know there is a high likelihood of a next round. Just like Amir and his soldiers watch what is happening across the fence, so is Hezbollah, whose leader Hassan Nasrallah said on Sunday that the Israeli army is unable to fill the ranks of its combat units and that tens of thousands of Israeli soldiers turn to mental health assistance. While it is not exactly clear where Nasrallah got his statistics from, what is clear is that on the morning of July 12, 2006, Israel was caught by surprise as five soldiers were killed and two bodies were kidnapped. The next time, the target could be civilians. The real challenge for the Israeli forces operating in the area comes from the very short distance separating the Israel-Lebanon border right here behind us and to this Israeli village, Kibbutz Hanita, just meters away. If Hezbollah forces cross this fence, within seconds, they'll be inside the village. For Brigade 300, that means they have to be ready at all times to stop the threat from crossing the fence. We call it quick and lethal. You have to be quick and sharp in order to stop anything that might happen, whether it's by artillery, tanks or infantry divisions. In the 12 years that have passed since the 2006 war, the area has flourished, the villages have expanded and tourism is booming. The forces watching the fence hope this will also be the reality for many years to come. Jonathan Regev, I-24 News.